Hello everyone and welcome to Quick Eating with Delanda. I am not her, I am Morgan and I am back today to show you how I made this cute canvas. If you saw my last tutorial, you saw that I made this lamp because I am going to college soon and I wanted to make some dorm decor. So I figured I would make something to hang up on the wall. And if you know anything about my mom, you know she likes to shop a lot. And she's been trying to get her hands on the Caesar Easy Color DTV and so she bought a lot of it. So I'm using this as like my opportunity to make something cute with it. So it just says take it easy and I know that college will be pretty hard so I think this will be pretty motivating to use and have on my wall. So I'm super excited to show you my full process and at the end of this video if you find it helpful please like the video, subscribe to my mom's channel and turn on the bell for notifications because my mom does upload new content every single week so now we will look at the materials you will need to create this beautiful project and let's get started for this project you will need a canvas of any size i used the 8x10 canvas you will also need easy color dtv you will need a green standard grip cutting mat this is optional but i just use this for more foundation under the canvas as well as a towel to put under whenever i use the press i use the cricut 9x9 nine nine easy press, a pin pen weeding tool, the TTD mask, and you will need a printer. It does not have to be a sublimation printer. I use the Canon MX470, and you will need a Cricut Explore Air 2. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm in Cricut Design Space, and the first thing I'll do is grab a square to use as my template. And I'll resize it to 9.25 by 6.75. Make sure to unlock it. And then I'll change the color of that to white since the canvas is white. And then I'll go ahead and go to images and search for what I want. So I just typed in boho rainbow. And just scroll through and find the one that you like. I have mine saved to my favorites and this is the one that I liked. Click add to canvas. After I found the rainbow, I know I wanted to add a saying under it, so I went ahead and added text, and I wanted it to say, take it easy. And for the font I use, it's called Genkeist, and it's a system font, meaning it was downloaded from defont.com. So if you just type in Gen, it'll come up right here. And for the color of the font, I wanted it to be one of the colors from the rainbow, and I liked this one right here, so I'll just change the color. Then I selected both of them and aligned them. After I aligned them, I grouped them and then resized it to the size of the canvas. And make sure to unlock it so it'll fit in the canvas. Okay, so now that I like it at this size, I'll go ahead and hide this one that I made previously, the template and the design. And I'll hide this template in the back and I'll click make it. Since I'm using DTV for this, I will not be mirroring it because I'm printing on top and it does not need to be mirrored. So I'll click continue. Now I'll click send to printer. And I'll be printing from the Canon MX470 series printer. Make sure to use system dialog and keep add boot on and click print. Click on preferences. And we'll be using photo paper. And I'll be using the glossy photo paper for this. And I want the print quality to be high and click OK. Now I will get this printed out and the rest will be back on the camera. Okay, so I'm at the printer now and the DTV has two sides to it. One of it is glossy, one of it looks kind of matte. So I'm gonna put this in the printer face down with the matte side face down and I'll get this printed out.
Okay, so I have my image and I love it already. And now I'm going to get it loaded onto my mat and let the Cricut Explore Air 2 get it cut out. Also a reminder that this is not a sublimation printer. Okay, so I have my image loaded onto my mat and I made sure to put it in the exact same way that it is on the computer so it cuts out the right way. And now I'll get it loaded into my machine and cut out. Cut setting is on printable iron-on light. So now let's get it cut out. Okay, so the design is cut out and I used the pin pen tool to get this weeded out. Okay, so I have the TTD mask and here's the sticky side. So I'm gonna use the taco method to get the design stuck to the mask. I'm a little nervous because there are some pieces that are sticking up, but I'll just try to be extra careful. And now I'll use the squeegee to burnish it to make sure it's adhered nicely. Now that I have the design stuck to the mask, I'll remove it from the backing. And I'll take my canvas and place the design on where I want it. And I like the way that looks, so now I'll turn my easy press on to 315 degrees. And in order to keep a nice foundation under the canvas so it presses nicely, I'll use this towel and place it under the canvas so there's some foundation under it. Okay, I have the towel under the canvas and I'm also using this for extra support. I have the heat press set to 315 for 15 seconds and I'll go ahead and get this pressed and make sure to use firm pressure. All right, so I have it pressed and I'll check to see if it's stuck down. It's not, so I'll press it one more time. Okay, so I have it pressed and I pressed it a few more times and Caesar recommends that if it starts to lift when you peel it, just to press it a few more times. So that's what I did. And now I'll start to peel it and see. So far, so good. Still so far, so good. And it's off, yay! Here's what it looks like. And what am I gonna say? I love it. So now I'll go to the chair and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is the final product and what am I gonna say? I love it. I absolutely love this and if I'm being honest, I'm kind of biased. I love this a lot more than this lamp. I honestly might just remove the hearts and use this color to make more hearts and put them on the lamp, but we'll see about that later. And like I said earlier, you know, my mom likes to shop a lot, so she bought a bunch of canvases so i definitely will be using more of the caesar easy color dtv to make more of these and hang in my dorm there were a few things i also wanted you to know is that for this i did have to press it multiple times with very firm pressure to make sure it stuck to the canvas well and i also wanted to say that you can use whatever size canvas you want and it's completely up to you so if you find this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe to my mom's channel, and turn on the bell for notifications because she does upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thanks for watching. Bye!